What's up, Cape Dwellers? I'm Gabe. And I'm Darren. And before we get started today, let's thank our sponsor that's RPG Hiring. Uh, they're building people, changing lives. Make sure you check them out if you're looking for a new career. What are Gabe. we doing today? I was going to ask you, what is the topic today, Gabe? It is Love and Thunder Reviews. Yes, it is. It is the Thor Love and Thunder Review. Uh, we watched it last week, and we want to make sure that we wait a week before we give out a bunch of spoilers for our viewers. Um, or maybe you just like spoilers. I don't know. Maybe you're not going to watch the movie, and you just expect us to give the review for you. But if, anyways, either this, way, spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. This is the review. And it's not even a super in-depth review. I don't really think there's a whole lot to talk about the movie. Not really. I mean, there was more cameos than anything else. But let's just get right into it. Um, yeah. Let's start off with what we didn't like. I like the what we didn't like, what we would have changed, what we did like, and where we think it's going. Like, to end on a positive note here. Uh, and I'll start off with what I didn't like. Um, there's mainly two things. The first half of the movie was pretty cringy. I'm not going to lie. There was a lot of, like... Like, oh no! And it was just like super cringy between like characters. And then the 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 like the second half of the movie, like they stopped it. I think it was like the way that they filmed it. Um, the second thing I didn't like was Melissa McCarthy. Darren doesn't like Melissa. I don't like her. I really don't. I try to avoid movies that she's in because I don't think she's funny and I don't like her. Um, so I'm just gonna add those are the two things I didn't like about the movie. What did you not like about the movie, Gabe? Um, I don't know how to feel about Thor's rocker outfit. I liked it. it. It was cool, but I don't think it totally suited him. That's it. Okay, that's all the things we didn't like. Let's go to things we would have changed. Uh, I'll start off here. I wouldn't have put Melissa McCarthy in it. <laughs> they could have just recast she because she played Hella. Okay, she played the um, the troop of the, the acting tr the acting troop. Um, you know, in for like the play, like they did in what the the second movie mm -hmm. or the third movie. Mm -hmm. Third movie. It was in, it was in Ragnarok. It was Ragnarok. Yeah. The acting troupe, which was Matt Damon, uh, Sam Neill, Luke Hemsworth, and then they added Melissa McCarthy plays um, Hela now because Hela that happened literally like the acting troupe, and then Hela destroyed Asgard. Well, they survived. Um, I think they should have just recasted uh, Hela and acted like that wasn't the real, that wasn't really her. That would have been that would have made it even funnier if she'd have been like played her own character, but like really goofy looking, like not the right hair or. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just made her look. She was like her natural hair color. Yeah, just something. Yeah, she's just blonde. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really like, keep up with the comics um, as much. So I didn't know that Jane was supposed to die in yes. the comics. So she dies in the movie. No well, spoiler. Um, she does die in the movie, and Gore, the God Butcher's daughter, which is actually Chris Hemsworth's real daughter. Um, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah, she comes back to life, and then Thor takes her as like an adopted child and is like taking care of her at the end. The ending was whatever. Um, that's really all that I would have changed about it. Um, maybe add a little bit more better, not, not necessarily better music, but more of the music that they had in it. At I the think first, he should have said, uh, I like, like Christian Bale's wish should have been, a. I wish to raise my daughter. So that yeah, he, you know, yeah. he lives, he gets his daughter. Right. And he can just Wording go like is everything else. people. Right, right. Anyways, what we did like, um, I'll start off because I wrote most of this down. What did you know? You start off, Gabe. What did you like about it? That's not on this list up here. Jane's dead. Oh, okay. Now we can have Beta Ray Bill. Oh yeah. Well, that's where's it going? Yeah. Anyways, I enjoyed the huge list of cameos. Uh, Matt Damon, uh, Luke Hemsworth, Sam Neill, um, all back with the the acting troupe. I'm glad they didn't die. And they had a um, <laughs> had a, a moderate part in this movie. They just kept showing up, and it was it made it funny. Um, I'm glad they were in it again. I really mm -hmm. am. Um, uh, uh, Elsa uh, Pataki. I don't know how you say her last name. That's Chris Hemsworth's real wife. She was the wolf lady or in, in there. in the. I don't remember if she was like in the God's Place or what. Really? But, yeah, his wife. No, no, it, it was his, 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 like, the people that he's been with. At, at um, Asgard or whatever? No, the, the, the people that Thor's loved. Was when they mentioned Wolf Lady. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Wolf Lady on a Wolf Lady. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, though, so that was his. That was his real wife. So like the the Wolf Lady that he he loved, whatever. Um, at the end, they brought Idris Elba back as um Heimdall. That was Love good. That. Yeah, that's good. And I'm glad they brought Darcy and Eric back. Um, which was Jane's friend and the the other scientist dude, the ones that were in the second Thor as mm -hmm. well as Wanda. Eric Selvig. Yeah. 
I can't remember his last name. Um, I liked Russell Crowe's version of Zeus. I think it was funny. He was kind yeah. of uh, out of shape, and it was just like a why funny. Did he Zeus? sound Italian. That was the. That was the. Why, why he was like a Latin. I don't know. I don't it know. Sounded why more like. Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought it was kind of odd, but it's cool. I thought it was cool that uh, the Guardians were in it. I think they needed a better, uh, bigger role in it, but there was yeah. cool that they were all in it, and it had a, a, a solid part at the first. Like you know, so I think I think we should have gotten a movie before this that was Guardians and Thor doing their own thing. Yeah, and then we got this movie where Thor has to go off on well, his own. They can't because they still have to fight. Um, what's his name? Adam Warlock. Yeah, it still hasn't happened yet. Um, I did think Gore uh, was a really good character. I liked how Christian Bale played him. I don't know of any movies that I don't like Christian Bale in. Um, he's just a great actor, and I think he he Cookie. executed this one uh, perfectly. I will always refer to Christian Bale as Justice. Yeah, I mean, I actually I liked him better in Ford versus Ferrari than Batman. I know, but I, I... um, and I thought the plot was really good. Um, it had a good plot, mm-hmm. had a good story. And I'm glad that we get to see more Thor. Absolutely. And that's, that's... He's not being phased out. He's still here. Yeah. I mean, he's still here, and it says Thor will return, so... Now on to why... To where it's going, where we believe that the, the, the story's going with it, and Gabe is wanting to talk about this so much. So tell us, Gabe. Jane dies. Thor keeps Mjolnir. Stormbreaker goes to Beta Ray Bill. We've seen his statue on uh, whatever the trash planet was in Ragnarok. Um, so, Beta Ray Bill's in this universe. They have hinted at it multiple, multiple times. Beta Ray Bill comes in. Thor gets to raise his kid, I guess, but she doesn't keep uh, Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker goes to Beta Ray Bill. Then we get two Thors, but it's Beta Ray Bill and Thor. Beta Ray Bill is not Thor. No. We are. I'm excited about it, too. I've been hoping for Beta Ray Bill since the first Thor movie, um, since MCU started. That's going to be super cool if they actually add that in. Now that Hercules is going to come attack him or whatever, Beta Ray Bill will be the perfect time to come in and mm-hmm. and uh, and and help out with that. I want to see Beta Ray Bill. I really do. I want to, yes. I, I want him to stop hinting at it. I want him to stop showing like background stuff of him. Like let's actually see Beta Ray Bill. You know, other things. Uh, there are going to be more Thor movies. We don't really know what all is going to be. Um, I definitely think that they are in the MCU and Disney and Marvel is uh, on a on a war path to change out the original MCU. Uh, characters for new players um, a lot of younger ones so I'm sad that like Guardians is getting phased out so like we're getting the holiday special this Christmas and then like May or March of 2023 is the Guardians 3 and that's it that's like they're they're done so either they're going to die or they're going to go off in the universe and just not sh- come back um, I wouldn't be surprised if Thor gets phased out pretty soon I don't know how they would do it other than him like just becoming like Odin and just sitting on a throne and some younger people come in. I don't know. Anyways, doesn't matter. That's where I think everything's going. I um, hope you enjoyed the review. This week, we're going to be giving away Tim Dowler. Um, his interview was last, or his uh, spotlight was last week. Uh, Gabe, why don't you find us some winners for Tim? All right. Hello, cave dwellers. Once again, it's me, the editor. We were unable to film the normal winners video this week. But not to worry. We still have our winners. Sorry for the inconvenience. It won't happen again. We pinky swear. Congratulations to the top 10. Uh, We love you. We're glad that you entered and we hope um, you enjoy the cards and loot box winner. We'll never forget about you either. Dead last place. All right. This week's spotlight is Jay Hammond. John Hammond, the necromancer from Jurassic Park. Not that one, Gabe. No. One. Jay Hammond, the artist, uh, so, who so is, cool. <laughs> is an awesome artist, and we hope you enjoy uh, the interview necromancer. right now. Welcome to another segment of Meet the Artist. This week, we have Jay Hammond. How's it going? That's going good. Amazing cards you've done here. Uh, I, I know our, uh, especially our Pokemon fans and our animation fans are not going to be able to wait to get their hands on these. So I guess our first question is, why did you pick what you picked since we give people free reign? Well, for two reasons. One, I'm a, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Uh, that was probably, I mean, besides Batman when I was like a little kid, Pokemon was probably like the first real fandom that I got into. Um and I just, I like to draw like gross monsters and things like that. So Pokemon was right up my alley. 
and then the uh i think it was pokemon and bob's burgers um bob's burgers is just one of my favorite shows uh, any anything animated like that is right up my alley, and Bob's Burgers, specifically Gene, is just right up my alley. So when I was given the opportunity to just kind of go wild with the cards and do whatever I wanted to, it was it was immediate. Those are the two I'm going to do. And just the next question: what 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 mediums did you use on the cards, and and what was your process? Uh, those are uh, Copic marker, uh, just pencil and ink. Um, I went through, I penciled everything, and then I went through and inked everything, and then I went through and colored everything uh, like an assembly line, um, and then went back through, and, and I think one of them has like some metallic paint flakes in it, uh, so I went did those last. And, and how long on average would you say that uh, it took you to complete each card? Uh, each card is probably, in, in total, uh, the entire process is probably about one and a half to two hours. And just just fantastic to work. Like I said, I know our viewers can't wait to get their hands on these. Uh, do you have any ongoing or upcoming projects that you want to talk about? Uh, yes, I I do. Um, so I pretty uh, pretty regularly release children's books. Uh, uh, the the quote unquote biggest book I've got is it's an educational book about the the digestive system. Uh, it's for kids. It's called Turd Troll. Um, and then I've released uh, three other children's books since then. Uh, this month in March, I've released one children's book called Tulip Chicken, one called Hazel and Tank. And uh, I actually yesterday had a variant cover for Slumber with Image Comics released. Well, I'll definitely be looking out for those children's books for my kids for sure. Say someone uh, is watching this and really digs your cards and your style and they didn't win the cards. But... There's good news. They they want to try to get it on a commission list, or they just want to follow you in general and see what you're up to. Uh, how can they find you? Uh, it's Jay Hammond Art, uh, pretty much everywhere. The only difference is the underscore. So on Twitter and Instagram, it's Jay Hammond underscore Art, and on Facebook, it's Jay Hammond Art. Um, commissions are currently open. Uh, I'll probably close those closer to the end of May. I've got a couple projects coming up that I need to make some time for. Um, but I, I post my commission list when it's open. I, I let everybody know, and I pretty regularly post really good sales, like buy one, get two free. So, uh, I mean, it's it's good to look out for if you're interested in something like that. Definitely. Give the man a follow. Jay, I appreciate you coming on the show and doing this interview and talking with us and sharing your art with us just in general. So but we just want to say we appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me, and uh, anytime you need me, I'll, I'll be here. I mean, even if we're not interviewing, if you just need somebody to talk about cartoons or something, just just send me a message and I'll jump on. Very noted. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you, guys. What a good interview. I, I'm, I think my chair is sinking. I want to say I was almost your height earlier, and I feel like I'm literally sitting down like four inches now. Um, yeah, welcome to my world, Gabe. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoy the interview. <laughs> and if you want to know how to win these cards, all you have to do is click that first link in the description, the giveaways link, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you fill it out all the way because if you want a card, we want to be able to send it to you. Because if you don't fill it out, we won't be able to send it to you. Yep. And make sure you like the videos, make sure you comment on the videos. Tell us what you did or didn't like about the review today. If you did like it, let us know. Let us know on some things that you, you know, what did you not like? What would you have changed? What did you like? And where do you think it's going? I want to thank our sponsor one more time. That's RPG, RPGHiring.com. And Gabe, take us away. Uh, bye.